I'm going to try to explain this. I'm not good at uh, how to do it videos, but this is a piece of three inch sewer pipe. Tell it's a uh, pretty thin wall stuff. And uh, I've cut this 13 inches long, measured the uh, circumference of it, which is 10 and a quarter inches. I divided that by six because I'm going to have six rows of these plucker fingers in it. That comes out to 1.7 inches. Marked uh, the spacing, and then I put my end caps on and measured the distance between the end caps and divided that by five which it come out to two inches is roughly uh, ten inches between the, the end caps so I, uh, I come off the edge of the end cap three quarters of an inch on the first one right here and then I measured two inches all over the next one I come off an inch and three quarters from the edge of the cap I put that cap on there so you have a better reference. You can see how it looks like on the caps. And it will go alternating down to the length of it. And it will uh, come up near the, the other end cap, which I don't have on. But it will look just like this other side, only at the opposite end. I drilled a three-quarter inch hole, and I just used a, uh, a cheap hole saw, which I had to use a uh, different drill bit in it, but that was okay. And you want to run this in reverse. Once you get your pilot hole drilled, just run it in reverse so you don't uh, snag and, and break those holes out. Let's see, it's just a uh, regular uh, hole saw. And uh, what you do is you want to drill your pilot hole first, and then you want to put your drill in reverse. That way, uh, it basically just kind of chips away at it. These uh, teeth don't grab it and uh, snag and tear it out, or possibly even crack this. It's pretty uh, thin wall tubing. I've tried to drill it with just a uh, three-quarter inch drill bit, and it would uh, it would go through it and grab the edge and uh, try to crack it. In fact, it did crack one hole, so I had to start all over with another piece of pipe here. What I'll do with this is I'll uh, put this in some soapy water, and I'll pull these up through here. Said so I, the three-quarter inch may be a little tight, but uh, there's enough stretch in these that they'll uh, snap in there. I don't know, 7 eighths may have been a better choice, but uh, I just uh, went ahead with 3 quarter inch. I would not recommend going any smaller than 3 inch diameter. As you can see, once you start uh, getting these uh, fingers pulled through, it gets tighter and tighter in there to try to uh, fish these down through here. I think... Uh, Seven eighths inch hole would be a, a better choice than three quarter inch. These are really tight. So uh, if you decide to uh, build something like this, I would recommend a seven eighths inch hole. Because I'm having to really pull on these to, to stretch them to, to get them to go into that hole. As you can see, uh, I've just drilled a three quarter inch hole in the center of this cap same uh, size I drilled for these uh, plucker fingers the uh, the other end I haven't drilled a hole but uh, I'm going to use a three quarter inch male PVC adapter and inside this end since it's going to be uh, too big I just shoved a piece of three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe in there and uh, cut it off so it's the uh, gives it a little more support as the by, uh, pipe that runs through the the tube over here 
it will uh, this will be the drive end of it this is the piece that will be uh, screwed to the shaft to turn this and this side just just free floats out here which it'll be attached to this pillow block now the other end on this end cap I drilled a uh, one inch hole and kind of wallered it out a little bit so these uh, threads would go through it and this will be the drive end of the plucker on the shaft like I said I'll send a screw down through here into the shaft and run another one in so it'll catch this cap to keep it from slipping because I don't have any, any way of uh, tightening this up to keep it from slipping other than a screw uh, used that other one you know several times and I've uh, never had a problem with that screw in it as you can see this is uh, the way it looks with the cap on it with the uh, coupling on there if you if you absolutely wanted to you could do the same thing on this end but uh, it's got enough support here uh, if you have any trouble with it you can always pop this cap off and uh, put another fitting on the end of it to give it more support and you can build this out of lumber if you want to I just hate working with lumber it's just easier to cut metal and uh, weld it together and, uh, hammering some nails or trying to get some screws in something so you can build it to your own dimensions however wide you want to make it however tall you know whatever you want to do this is just just what I did and it uh, it works pretty good it, it, it'll pluck a chicken in less than 30 seconds you know, the only thing is you have to hold the chicken you know to the fingers as it rotates but, uh, had some uh, comments uh, about uh, how I built it and I'm just uh, trying to do uh, you know the, the basics of uh, building this plucker it's it's not complicated I decided to put these flat instead of like my other one where I just had the angle iron coming to a peak up here at the top I, I just think it would be a little better if it's a little higher on, on the plane on this tube here that way it won't be so trying to grab that chicken if you're holding it lower on there that way it's just I think it'll work out better But as you can see, I've got this uh, mounted down. This is this is the way it's gonna it's gonna rotate. I haven't mounted the motor yet. I put this uh, little piece of flashing on there, like I explained in uh, earlier. It's just to catch them feathers to keep them from going back down at your feet. Put the little screws in these caps. Shot one down through the side here to hold this cap to this coupling. See, there's not a, a lot of torque on this. I don't really like the way this this <coughs> motor mount is, but. That's what I have to work with. See it sticks out here on the side. I've made this shaft longer. So maybe it, if he decided to use one of these other uh, grooves on this pulley, he could move, move out with the top pulley.
trying to think if there's anything else I haven't explained on this. I think I've uh, covered most of it. If you were handy with the tools and anything, you, you should be able to build one of these now. I've got probably a hundred dollars in materials counting my angle iron and uh, the pulley you know the plucker fingers the bearings so there's a little bit of expense involved in building building one like this I don't know like I said you could uh, use some wood make it narrower or whatever you wanted to do with redesign it to fit your needs if you plan on plucking you know chickens all the time or every year or two or three times a year now this to use this you have to uh, scald the chicken so the feathers will slip these will not uh, pluck a chicken without scalding. They'll just beat it up a little bit. Now uh, it will not bruise the meat. If the chicken is is uh, dead and been bled out, there's a uh, no way it's going to bruise something that doesn't uh, have blood. It has to be li alive to, to bruise it. It's not a uh, I'm going to brew something after it's already died. So, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm still waiting on this pulley. Said I'm a little put out by some of the Amazon uh, dealers. Said I had two orders this week. Uh, this shaft wasn't in the order, and. Uh, I wound up just using a piece of half inch of conduit, which it doesn't, it's not a tight fit. And I could uh, wrap some tape around there to uh, true it up a little bit, and I probably will have to on the pulley whenever I get it. One of these bearings wasn't included in the shipment. I had to wait on that to get the other one of those, and now the, the pulley. Yeah took them eight days to ship it it's going to take another week to get here so to me uh, that's a it's a little long I've had a lot better luck uh, buying elsewhere but so I don't know how much more uh, ordering I'll do off Amazon after this week because it just seems like nobody cares anymore on the if I get energetic I may uh, Straighten up this mess of wires that's on that motor.